Okay, hello and welcome to a brand new series on Seopolis Submerged. It's essentially under the ground sky, or under the water, uh, I'm under the water, please help me, uh, type of, like, skyblock thing that we're just gonna be figuring out as we go. So, uh, let's look at this. Uh, we start off with literally nothing. There's a light blue colored tree over here. We also have quests. So, welcome to Submerged. Thank you for downloading and welcome to Seopolis Submerged. We get one B buck for that. Quests, follow the quests that will guide you. Some quest lines may unlock as you progress through the quests. Gotcha. Uh, more time to with B bucks in the catalog. Well, now you move around your a lot easier. Okay, C bucks. These can be used for items from the catalog. Um, okay. So the world is full of different ocean biomes. Cool. Uh, damaging waters. The water will hurt you unless you have a diving suit. Cool. That's good to know. Uh, toxic air. The air of the water is toxic. You have a toxic air. Period. Okay. That's a little annoying. Anyway. We can open this up. And uh, water, sweet water. Let's get started with this. So we need a log. I guess my. You know. That's all good. That's all good. Just chilling. We get one thing. We get logs. We get this stuff. So now I can open the quest real quick. So, open the quest. Logs. We get mystical fertilizer. Instantly grows a crop or sapling, which is cool. Apples drop from colored trees. Planks. We need planks. We need a crook as well, which we need to get a crafting table before we get a crook. So, thank God we got some sapling. Then we can go through the normal thing. We got planks. We got sticks. We get a crafting table. Light through crafting table. Then we get a crook. Can I twerk for... Uh, so I should be able to do that. Then we can make a chest. A wooden mesh which is that. The vanilla crafting table, we can get through that. Wooden catcher, we need logs and that. Okay, perfect. Light blue colored wooden plank crafting table. Wow, that's a lot of words. Let's just get a normal crafting table. Looks kind of dope with this uh, UI as well. Boing. And now we have an apple and a bunch more saplings. So now we have 12 saplings. They're 16 saplings, jeez. Um, it's quite a few. I think we're gonna save most of the stuff. I only need two log- or seven logs and then enough st eight sticks. So, it's looking like we'll need one more. I'll go through the crook and then I will just break these guys. Actually, you know what? It might be good to just continue having a crook because we are gonna need food. So, I think having one sapling- Planted at all times, as well as having a crook, is going to be incredibly beneficial in the long run. But, I'm trying to think, um, yeah, we, we have enough logs now to kind of get started on stuff. So, we can get ourselves a wooden catcher, and should be able to make ourselves our wooden mesh from that as well. And then, have a vanilla crafting table, it's right here. Did I not... Did I go too quick? Perfect. I think I went too quick with it. Then we need a chest, which I thankfully have enough wood for. That, some more sticks, which means I have enough to make another mesh, which means I should be able to craft up a strainer with some sticks. I need one more stick. Wow. Um, so two sticks, mesh, mesh, logs, wooden strainer. Um, so, that part must be in water to collect resources. Strainer tank can be used on top instead. Um... Stronger wood obtained through. So, this stuff will hurt me if I go into it. So, how do I... Okay, I think I'm gonna need to do this. There we go. Pickaxe. So, I can mine out. Shoot. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. This is not good. 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 Yeah, so, uh, do not... Do not go into the water. It will, uh... It hurts. We're gonna need to do. We're gonna need to go down. There. Perfect. Stayed alive. Good. It's good. It's good. It's perfect. And then we get the strainer in the water. What's it from? Strainers. Uh, at improved mesh upgrade, improved input. So improved mesh upgrade. Copper mesh. I need some form of tier two mesh. So string mesh is a tier one. Leafy bamboo. String, flint, copper, amethyst. What mesh am I using now? I'm using wooden mesh and a wooden catcher. We got driftwood, though. So we got our first pieces of driftwood, which is dope, because we need that. And we also need three for a bucket, which is perfect. Because now we can do this. And you know what? I should probably claim claim all these guys, because then we get a wooden water bucket and a B-Bucks wallet. Because then what we can do is we can we can do that, and then we have to... We, that holds all of our B-Bucks. Hey. 
And thankfully, most of our crooks are giving back, like, the right amount of sticks for us to be able to make even more crooks. So I'm happy about that. The one issue that we're finding, though, is that we're not getting nearly enough uh, apples to make up for it. So we're going to need to do this. Back up a little bit. more apples. 11 sticks now. Plenty of sticks. I'm not really gonna run out of them. But just gotta... We, I need more apples. Apples are the food that we need to survive practically right now, so having none of them is a little bit a little bit difficult, you know? Also, we have two wooden water buckets. Also, this water tank, I want to try that instead of the catcher. Seems like we can't use that yet, which is interesting. So, we should probably get another tree growing just in case. And we can chuck one of those in there, as well as our wallet. Um, we need driftwood shears, driftwood hopper, cutting board, which is two sticks. That, so we get a cutting board, then we get wooden shears then we need one more driftwood for a hopper which is good because we already have that and then we get one more log we get a chest to get the stuff for a hopper which is perfect so we got a whopper now a wooden knife which is two driftwood and a stick which is perfect because we already have two driftwood which is gorgeous perfect and then leaves uh we need leaves gotcha that's the next thing that we need. And then worms. So, uh, looks like we need to be utilizing this stuff now. Again. Okay, we got some leaves. I'm probably gonna need more leaves than I anticipate. So I'm just gonna harvest this entire tree worth of leaves. Which is gonna be around a stack. It's 54 instead of 64, but, you know, it's not bad at all. 54 is pretty, pretty dang good. 55, actually. Nice. Nine less than a full stack. But what does that mean? That means that now we harvested leaves, collected from shearing leaves, worms we get from straining uh, leaves with a mesh, tier one mesh. 120 ticks. So if I do this and I chuck leaves in here, we'll start getting worms apparently which is convenient. And then bait box, which we need worms for, but I need food really bad. Um, okay, we got one apple, two apples. I just need food to last me until we get the fish stuff taken care of, which should be relatively soon because honestly, this is going a lot quicker than I was expecting it to take. And mining all of this wood has been really, really relaxing. So, I'm just kind of chilling, relaxing. I, I recommend this mod pack to anyone who wants to kind of chill, relax, have a good time, take their time, and just enjoy life. Because it's, it's pretty fun. So then the bait box is... Add that so that I can click that in. So we get a bait box. Gotcha. And so use, use instead of a strainer to collect fish... Aquatic torch, we need glowing sacks, which means we need mesh with the bait box. Perfect. So we're going to do the bait box. Haven't eaten a worm yet. Let's do that real quick. I get the feeling I'm going to need a lot more of these wooden strainers, though. So we should probably make ourselves some more meshes. 32 should be enough to get us four, which is enough for two total, which should be good, right? Missing a stick. Okay. Not to worry, though, because we got extra materials. Perfect. Two more strainers that I will put... I'll put them right next to these other ones, because otherwise... The, this side, this corner, will kind of be our strainer area. So we got these. Again, we got these. This one will be a wooden catcher. Then we need... I forget. We need another thing of five six we need another set of these meshes for each one of these because i mean you just need them you need the mesh for each one and that's all good anyway we got you now we can mine away you we can mine away you as well then we can mine these corners out and now we've got a little submerged corner this one's fishing it's got a bunch of fish i'm gonna need to eat every single individual one um, swimming tentacles I'm gonna need to get. Cut tentacles. Okay. But, it will give me blindness. Okay. Atlantic herring. Anyway, uh, we need raw fish fillets, which means that if I get any duplicates, uh, such as 
Raw salmon, glowing sacks. We need glowing sacks for stuff. So, what was the glowing sack for? The aquatic torch, I believe. Yep, I was right. Glowing sack. Got us some aquatic torches. So, I'll put one in each corner. Starting now, I'm assuming those work underwater, which is great. We're almost to the end of the cold ocean. I think I'm going to end this episode after we complete the cold ocean. However, um... We do need to start going and cutting board, uh, salmon, fish bones, raw fish fillet. We need to eat a raw fish fillet. So the reason why I'm eating each fish individually is because there's a mod in here that increases our uh, actual base hearts based on the amount of different things that you've eaten. So if we eat it cooked or if we eat it raw, It'll give a different uh, amount of stuff. So I need to eat all these guys raw. Like that one just gave us two extra hearts, which is amazing. Anyway, we get bone meal from fish bones. So three bone meal for fish bones. And I can use the bone meal to grow ourselves a tree, which we need to block a bone for actually. So, you know, I haven't eaten carp. I have eaten tentacles. But I have also... I'm also in need of, uh... This thing is done with that, so I'm out of... Well, what did I need? In here, I needed a bait box, right? Bait box. What do I need? I need planks and another stick. So, stick, planks, and we should be able to get ourselves another bait box so that we can successfully fish some more. Even more worms now, so now we're pretty much good on worms for the foreseeable future. I am gonna get a little bit more sticks, and we're gonna get another bait box out here for this one, because actually after we're through with these sticks, then I'm gonna chuck the bait box in there just so that we're not wasting a ton of time. But, uh, I'm gonna essentially be sprinting around, eating for a little bit, and, uh, yeah, this is, this is what it's going to be like. If you guys would like to see an edited down version of these videos, then please let me know in the comments below, because I will be, uh, I'll be willing and looking forward to doing, you know, that kind of stuff. Also, we're getting, we're getting quite a bit of good stuff here, so... We already have plus four hearts, which is massive. And thanks to the variation in fish that we can actually acquire. Because if we couldn't if we couldn't get all these different kinds of fish, it would not be anywhere near this easy. Because uh, thankfully they put it in a very easy way to uh red grouper I don't have yet, so they, they put it in a very easy way for me to get a ton of variance in the types of fish. So we're just gonna kind of jump around a little bit. Maybe plus six hearts as well. We still have two fish left that we have not eaten yet. And by the time we're done with this, there might be even more fish in the fish box that we haven't eaten yet, so. Now we do this, and then we go here. We've eaten everything but a gar, brown trout, Atlantic cod and carp. So four whole new fishes that we still haven't eaten yet, which is wild. So hopefully we should be able to just max out. Yep, yeah, max out as much as we possibly can. It is quite a bit of work though. My thumb is starting to go a little bit uh, from hitting the space bar so many times. Just spamming spacebar, but you know, the things I do for this YouTube channel. Anyways, that's all. Probably not going to find anything new in there. So now we should turn all the rest of this stuff. Except for, I don't think you can turn minnows into... Never mind, you can. That's dope. Okay, so then we just do this. And we get all of the tasty fish parts. We get this, then we get a block of bone. Which I guess we need for something. Bone block, uh... Sapling grower instantly grows saplings, so it's just it's just that easy. And then we need slabs, so slabs plus... I think we need seven slabs, so that's unfortunate. But then we need another block of bone for that, so I'm glad we got enough. And composter as well. And that's that tab completed, so let's claim all of our rewards. And, uh... 
choice reward. Hmm. I think Scrooge McDuck is the one that we want. New Scrooge McDuck, a new mascot. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Scrooge is just gonna be over there chilling. We also have fish bones. I don't know what we use the composter for. So, uh, create bone meal from organic materials such as leaves sap. So it's just a normal composter. Okay, you know, that's fine. But that is going to be the end of this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the bell for more videos like this because I make videos like this whenever I feel like it. And I really appreciate it when people take the time to, you know, enjoy them because I put a lot of effort into them and it might not seem that way, but I have a part-time job and I'm a full-time college student. So honestly, this is just a fun hobby. Now we're on the second page of quests, which will complete this episode. Starting off with, we need to get bones, which bones, you put a bone block on there, then you get bones from that. We're going to need a little bit more than just a single bone. So we're probably going to need, it's looking like at least, you know, 21 should be a good place to start. Uh, might as well go for 27. So we have a good amount. So we got bones, then I need sharp bones but i also need all my wood farmed up a little bit of wood in between episodes not a ton so bone mesh is just bone in the center of a this which is a tier two mesh apparently don't know what fully tier two mesh gives us but strainers with uh, gravelly mulch or leaves okay okay so we need more leaves for this but we got the bone mesh i can grow up with that and then i also have Shears that you can utilize. Oh, the shears go quick. Okay. And then we just want to get all the leaves we can. I know it's two different types of leaves. I don't know why I did it that way, to be honest with you. But, should be able to get some stones. Also, every duck egg I'm throwing to see just if we can get more ducks. Because ducks are kind of dope. I'm kind of enjoying the quacking. It's absolutely great. I'm keeping them alive for my beloved girlfriend because she loves ducks. And that's hella valid because ducks are dope. So if y'all find it to be annoying, then uh, just don't watch the videos. Honestly, like, I appreciate whoever is watching. But if you find the ducks to be annoying, just like duck off. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the ducks just be chilling. Anyways, probably should go through here. Sharp bones, knife on a bone. We can eat sharp bones. Okay, bone hammer. Uh, bone. Also, I need to make sure that we get that and that. So we get sharp bones. And then I need another sharp bone because I need to eat a sharp bone. Which hurts me, but it gave me two hearts because I'm just dope like that. We got the Remnant Saber, which is a dope sword, I guess. Seems to be pretty... Sea Wolf Weapon deals 100 times more damage... 100% more damage while in water, plus 10% critical hit. Pretty dope, to be honest with you. We'll get stone pebbles in a little bit. The hammer is this, 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 and this. Can be used to smash up things. Skeleton key. Stick. Bone meal. Bone. Okay, skeleton key, skeleton key, key fragment, bone hammer, mash up that, we get a bunch of key fragments, then a key block remover, okay, or corridor key, corridor key, or I can do one for a key block remover, corridor key two is, okay, so I can do, I love that, okay, 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 that's dope, so I need more skeleton keys, because then I can smash up the skeleton keys, into the key pieces. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's dope. Okay. So then three of you across is a quarter key one. Then quarter key two, which is three by three by seven. This is a three by three by five. Okay. I think quarter key two. And then quarter key three should be the same thing, right? That's three by three by nine. So then I'll be able to do this. Should be this corridor. And then I need another base quarter key, which is going to be this one. And then I need key block removers, which are these guys. To remove and remove. And then this is going to be the start of our... Okay, this is dope. I love this. So we get to build our own base and then short room. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. 
So then I just need more skeleton keys, right? So I need more bone meal, which means bone blocks. I can turn back into bone meal. It just isn't a big deal at all. These skeleton keys are super cheap to make. I mean, just made nine, I guess. Um. Okay, well, that should be all that we really need now. How do I make the short room? Four in a corner. Okay. Short room. How do I make short room two? Normal room. Four. A okay, tall room. I think we start off with this being a tall room, which is pretty big, actually. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. So, that's that. Then we need stone. So, should be getting some stone pebbles in here, which is dope. Perfect. Then we'll go through and we'll put the black colored leaves in there as well. We got stone pebbles. Cobblestone is stone pebbles in a four by four. Then we build ourselves a furnace the normal way. Dispenser. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we just smashed it up. We snap, we stab, snap, we stab it. Grab the bones, do the this, do the that, do the that. Then we grab that, we do that, we do that, we chuck that in there. And then all I need is some sapling, saplings. No more ducks. Okay, and then I need driftwood. Two driftwood. One more shears. I'm shearing this tree. It shall become bald. Just like the natural man should be. Yes, total sense makes none does his do. Perfect. Then we do that, we do that. I can I can create a ton more of those corridor stuff, so I'm, I'm happy about that. This is going to be our central room with everything kind of branching off of it. I'm gonna put a bedroom to the, uh, east. Actually, we'll put our bedroom to the north. I think that's gonna be the best. We still don't have string, though, which is unfortunate. Once we get string, I'll be very happy. But, looks like we got more stone pebbles. Stony pebbles, stony pebbles. And then we can get ourselves a dispenser. Stone from the furnace. That's not a furnace. That's a dispenser. And what I'm going to do is we're going to put in eight. And actually, what's the uh, cook? 1.5 items. 1.5 items. Or I can use a stick to smelt 0.5 items, which is more efficient. So sticks. So 0.5 per stick. So I need 16 sticks to smelt that up which is two logs to smelt eight logs which is pretty efficient i guess statistically speaking but yeah um and then i should probably do this to get rid of these ones because they're kind of eyesores and then we'll go and we'll do um i think a small room for the north for our bedroom and then i'm gonna do corridors off of the other two sides i'm gonna do medium corridors off of the other two corridor two and corridor two perfect we got more stone stone is good we need a lot of stone, actually. We need stone to drawing table. Leafy mesh, leafy string, which is junk, which is leaves in a row. So I have a use for some leaves, actually. Dope. Need more leaves, though. So six more leaves should be enough. We only needed... What did we need for leafy mesh? Five. Oh, I have a couple extras. Leafy mesh. Um, drying table. Made that. Soaking table can be waterlogged to create the soaking table. Use a bucket of water on it to create the soaking table. Okay, cool. Gotcha, I can do that. Log sheet can be used to make waterlogged paper. Or watered paper, or whatever. Sorry about that, I just coughed. Um, soaking, so we need the drying table. We'll put that... I'm just gonna grab that. And then we will do this, actually. I will go this, 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 and then we'll grab a bucket of water to waterlog it. Chuck in a bunch of these sheets, start them on their process. We need charcoal, we need any charcoal, charcoal filter, cooked fish fillets. Probably should make another furnace here in a second. Eight charcoal, should cook that in my inventory. Many charcoal as well, and then we can start getting even more charcoal. Then I can work on cooking the fish fillets. And the tentacles. Still no luck on the duck eggs. That's really unfortunate. Just want another duck, man. Anyway. Two more furnaces. Stack them on top of each other, because why not? Grab three for this guy. We'll cook up. 
I guess we'll just cook up the fish fillets. That's fine. Uh, we also need to cook up some stone, which I'll do in the top one. And then we need a redstone clock, which you need one stone for, and a catalog, which we need eight stones for, so I need nine total. I need more leaves. Okay. Dope. So I need more driftwood. Just two more driftwood. Good, good, good. Boop, boop. And we get all the leaves. Let's put half of them in that one, half of them in that one. It's crazy you can get stones from leaves, but you know, I guess I guess that is how that works, isn't it? It's not. It's not, by the way. That's not how leaves work. The leaves don't come, or the stones don't come from leaves. The leaves don't come from stones. It doesn't. It, it just don't go like that. But you know, you might as well enjoy life. Don't be focused too much on what people like me say. Sorry about that, I needed to take a sip of my water because my throat is currently not having a great day. But now we're just kind of chilling. Mining all this stuff. Chilling with it. Vibing. Enjoying life. Life is good. Life is nice. Everyone deserves to enjoy life to the fullest. Because life is pretty amazing when you just when it comes down to it. Life is beautiful, or it can be at times. It can be scary too. But so long as you have someone to stand by your side. It's not too scary. Shoot, I just realized I need four more. Um, so I need six, five for this. Four buttons. One for that. Redstone clock. Cool. And a catalog. It's just a, so it's just a shop. I need a B bucks for it, which means it's probably claim this. Skeleton key, skeleton key. One with the ship, one with the crew, one with the ship, one with the crew. Okay. Check that in there, check that in there. Get my uh, uh, soaked paper out there. Perfect. Get my cooked fish fillets. My B Bucks wallet out here. There we go. Perfect. Our stone clock can go in there. I need the stone paper still, though. But I've got everything catalog. I still just need my stone for. I need eight stone for it, which good thing that that's in there. And then I need one B-Buck. I need one B-Buck. Shoot. Thank God I still have a B-Buck. Catalog, eh? Black warp pipes, apple of ascent. God, drop, drop on the roof of the nether. What? White spray can, yellow warp pipes. I can get warp pipes, I can get storage uh, for storage stuff. Or an animal net. Okay. Paper. Drying table on soaked paper. So I literally soak it and then I just... You know what? Okay. I dip I, I dip it in the water and then I pull it out the water, I guess. But this is taking this is surprisingly quick. Um, I'm going to be honest. This is 
This is quite chill. Quite easy. Quite basic. I like it. I don't know how much the stuff in the catalog is worth. Per se. But pipe wrench. Opens pipe gooey. Another roof, mysterious cube. That's wild. Okay. Um, so that don't work that well, but at least we got some paper now. Which means we can get a charcoal filter taken care of pretty simply. So now we have two charcoal filters. This is dope. So we completed Bonecraft. Next episode, we'll cover the diving one. But let's claim all of our B-Bucks. Check in our B-Bucks wallet. Then pull out our fish fillets. And... I will see you guys in the next one. GG's peace. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.